Just 27 crews made the journey to the region southwest of Madrid and that made life easier for those who did. The group ballot resulted in a stronger Group A with Marvin van Luken and Ben van den Bogart drawn alongside Etienne Bax, Kern Hermans and Valentin Giro. In perfect weather conditions, the track in Spain was always going to be hard and fast, and sure enough it was. Group B featured Daniel Willemsen and Luke Rostang, joint leaders after round one last weekend. We know Willemsen can deliver on any sort of going, but it would be another big test here for the 10 times world champion. Group A race and Van Luken are shot into the lead, escaping a big tangle at the back. His joy was short-lived, however, because a mechanical problem sidelined him before he completed the lap. Davy Sanders and Larry Kunis then took over at the front and held on for the win. This was in spite of an incredible challenge from Kern Hermans, Etienne Bax and Valentin Giro. Bax was to stop with a technical problem midway through, but he rejoined in ninth place. He was eventually to finish fifth behind Jake Brown and Joe Millard. The top three were nose to tail, lap after lap, and it was one of the closest finishes we've seen for a very long time. Davy Sanders had the ride of his life and took victory, but would his time secure him pole position? Well, in actual fact, it did, so he would be absolutely thrilled. Group B, and it was the Swiss Koosh boys who shot into the lead, this was not for long, however, and they were out of it. Stuart Brown and Josh Chamberlain then took control, and on a track where he was on the podium last year, Brown was in his element. Arno Dierkins and Robbie Back threatened for a while, but as the race unfolded, Brown extended his lead to win by an impressive distance. He and Chamberlain were very much at home on the fast going, and Dierkins had no answer for him. Daniel Willemsen was flying and looked like he might catch Dierkins in the closing stages, but the challenge faded and he dropped back. The man on a charge, however, was Julian Veldman, who with Glenn Janssens had shown what they could do in Belgium. They were really enjoying the Mega 2 stroke and were soon up to third place. It certainly showed that Veldman can ride any conditions and he was having fun here. With even hotter weather forecasts for race day, Talavera de la Reina was turning out to be another success story and a key round in the championship. Stay with us here on FAMCyclecross.com for all the latest news as it happens.